From Los Angeles to Phoenix to Las Vegas, an intense heat dome is bringing dangerously high temperatures and humidity. It's just the heat that it's, I mean, probably because we're not used to it. A juice stand did brisk business near the Las Vegas city sign. Tourists sweltered while waiting to snap pictures, devising strategies on how to stay cool. As forecasts predict, the temperature will hit 117 degrees on Sunday, flirting with record highs. Walk through, probably walk through the resorts, you know, take advantage of the shade when you can. It's even hotter in Death Valley National Park in California, where signs warn against walking after 10 a.m. It could rise above 130 degrees this weekend and possibly set a world record for the hottest temperature ever measured on Earth. Further north in Sacramento, the mercury may spike to 110 degrees. It's been very hot. I feel like I'm a roasted chicken. Temperature records could also fall in parts of Europe. In Venice, Italy, umbrellas provided some relief from the searing sun. In northern Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was hospitalized, saying he suffered dehydration after spending a day at the sea with no hat or water. He says he feels very good, but warned others to take precautions. A common refrain around the world this weekend as the dog days of summer take on new meaning. Wendy Gillette. CBS News. Forecasters expect California and Arizona to reach new record highs as this dangerous heat wave expands across the country and into the West. Roughly 115 million Americans are under heat advisories stretching nearly 3,000 miles from coast to coast. California Governor Gavin Newsom says he expects the state's power grid to hold up for now as the dem demand spikes. CBS News correspondent Donya Bacchus has more from Santa Clarita, which is just north of Los Angeles. This is about as bad as it can get, yeah. If you thought it was hot already, it's about to get worse. These workers installing new air conditioners in the blazing sun. There was no shade of up there. There's no shade. The heat dome out west, sending temperatures across California soaring into the triple digits. It feels like I'm in a oven 350 like all day. Hot and dry conditions, igniting a small brush fire near Azusa. High temps have fire officials on high alert. We can have brush fires any day just because it is so hot. The west is sweltering. Palm Springs could hit 120 degrees by this weekend. Las Vegas, 118. And Phoenix, which has been over 110 for two full weeks, could reach 120. While in Death Valley, tourists are flocking for a selfie as the mercury could pass 130 degrees by Sunday. It just really does feel like an, an air full of blow dryer is just going back in your face. Temperatures could feel 15 degrees higher in the sun. Doctors say that if you have to be outside, the best thing you should do is stay hydrated. Don't wait to be thirsty. If you're feeling sweating, dizziness, headachy when you're outside, Get to a cool spot, hydrate, take off extra clothing you don't need, cool your body down. Let's bring in Danya for more. Danya, what's the situation where you are right now? Right now in Santa Clarita, California, it is about 100 degrees. Tomorrow, the high is expected to be about 101. We've been out here since the early morning hours where it was significantly cooler. And throughout the day, we have definitely felt the heat and the temperatures rise here. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's just areas of dry brush that firefighters are really concerned about. Uh, here in Santa Clarita, crews are prepared with this bulldozer that they can use in case a fire comes. This bulldozer will basically create a dirt path and remove some of that flammable brush to help keep a fire from spreading. So right now the temperatures are definitely high. We are feeling the heat and fire crews here are on high alert. Let's take that a step further because you and I both know that heat has an impact on aging power lines. How significant is the risk of these down lines sparking wildfires? You know, it's a significant risk here in California because, as you may remember, the Dixie Fire back in 2021, well, 2021, uh, that was the second largest wildfire in California. That was actually caused when power lines came in contact with a tree. So that is something that officials here are definitely always concerned about. Uh, in conditions like this, it's not just the power lines, but they're also telling people, of course, be careful if you want to uh, have the need to shoot fireworks. Uh, don't throw cigarette butts out the window. Of course, watch when you're doing lawn care, because sometimes uh, there could be a spark from the lawnmower that starts a fire. So there are definitely so many different factors that start those wildfires here. And fire crews are urging everyone to use caution. 
Tanya Bacchus, thank you for your reporting.